perfect timing. Alright, so I actually got the screen recorder to start in time, so um other than that, I did end up putting a disclaimer on the last video. I honestly I just forgot, but it, it honestly wasn't too bad. I mean, I'm gonna like we can go right into it now. So like Oh, bit of like, yeah, that was the picture if you haven't seen the last video. It's it's honestly not that bad. It's definitely not as bad as the Sayori hanging picture. That that's brutal. I'm not even gonna lie, but I just Honestly, I don't really know where this game is going anymore. I mean I did spoil like a potential future for the game, and basically I'm not gonna spoil what it was, but it would mean that there would be some sort of like third act or like third part to the mod, because the first part was obviously pretty much everything before we went to the cafe with Natsuki. We had all the problems, the problems being like Sayori suiciding our relationship with, or I guess Sayori's depression in our relationship with Natsuki. Those were the big two. And Monica sort of like coping with sort of like how, you know, she had like a second chance. And then this, this part, the problems of this part is obviously, as we can see here, Natsuki's father which we ultimately failed to deal with looking at this. Um, Natsuki's father is the big one. Yuri, I mean, the problem ain't being. Yuri is in a point as to where she's like faking it. Like we saw her sort of like self-interaction about like her needing to get with us or whatnot. And like our, how we talked with her about, you know, her being a good friend, like that's meaningless. Like at this point, Yuri's too far gone and we'll ultimately have to deal with her obsessive personality at some point. And obviously Monica's sort of like skewed rationality due to her relationship with Sigurd. That's a big one. I mean, Monica, she should have seen this coming because she knows she's been through or she retained her memories from the acts one through four in the previous, I guess, previous iteration of this game. I guess of this storyline. So I don't know why she's like, it's, it's, She's sort of like, she's, she thought that because, you know, she solved Sayori's problems that, like, stuff like this won't happen. And that, I don't know. Because, I mean, this, Sayori, let's, let's imagine Sayori sees this. How is she going to feel? Terrible. I mean, that's not helpful for her as well. It's kind of like an exit music where, because we were so fixated on Natsuki, we allowed the problems of the other characters to compound, and that ultimately ended up affecting Natsuki in a roundabout way so that Natsuki would have better if we you know didn't spend 24 7 with her and focused on you know the problems of the other girls while we could we would be living a happy life and I mean or at least in the game I am happy but stuff like this I mean that's that's the MC's fault entirely it was a stupid plan no no that it was stupid of her to go back and get her coat I mean like what the actual fuck, like, I don't even understand, alright, let's continue, beaten, we're like, we're surprised, we're like, how could this have happened, like, how is this possible, broken, the deep laceration on our chest, spewing blood, only to be washed away by the rain, she's gonna bleed out and die, I guarantee it, I actually don't guarantee it, cause I don't know whether anyone dies in this game or not, like, I mean, in exit music, Natsuki and the MC both died, but I mean, it's quite possible, fuck, I shouldn't have said that, Am I going to restart the video? Am I going to restart it? I really feel like I should restart it. But I felt like most people probably wouldn't be watching at this point. My average views of video is like two minutes. So, I mean, yeah, no. I, yeah, I, I shouldn't. But I guess, I mean, I played the mod really late. And if they really wanted to play Exit Music, they probably, like, that's a, that mod's a more well-known mod than this one. So, I mean, yeah, they've probably already seen it. Natsuki, Natsuki, or whatever. No, it's it's Natsuki. If you say Natsuki, then you're wrong. What? What happened? What happened? I don't know. What happened? Why are there cuts and bruises all over your body? Who could have done this? I don't know. I, he knew. I fucking called it. I, like, you can't even say I did it. I said that because the problem is the MC was going into this with the attitude that our father is just a deadbeat. No, this isn't like the exit music, father. Her father cares about her too much, and that's the problem. I've said this like five times. Like, we've seen this. Her father dresses her. Her father weighs, like, she's not malnourished because her father doesn't keep food around the house. She's malnourished because her father is forcing her to watch her weight. 
Her father establishes curfews. He cares about her in a twisted sort of way. He's not going to let her slip. And I said that his father is a smart person. He's a doctor. He's well known within the community, apparently. And because of that, he's if Natsuki's behavior is even a little off, he's going to suspect something. I mean, but the, the problem with that being if he knew, like, why wasn't he there when they were doing it? Like, as opposed to when she just went back to get her coat. Not only that, look at what he did to her. I mean, you can't hide this from people. Like, before, he was just beating her in her stomach, chest area, which is, that's the smart thing to do. And, like, back, lower, lower, and upper back. Like, around that, like, area, that's where you, like, beat people, because it's not really visible. Like, arms, yeah, that's visible. Legs, visible. But, I mean, look at what he did to her. I mean, this isn't going to be, like... If, if he had the intention of killing her, why did he let her leave? That's the real question. Because, I mean, she does look pretty beat up. She does look like she's about to die. But, I mean, ultimately, I spent six minutes on the screen. I need to get past this. Well, I guess I did, like, click past. But, I mean, I, 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 I'm calling his bluff. I don't think he, yeah, he definitely, I wouldn't say it's bad enough to where she'll die. Because, I mean, I honestly don't think the father, given he cares about Nazi this much, even if it's in his own sick, twisted way, he's not going to let her leave. Like, he's not going to kill her. Like, that would be a waste of all the work he's done, in a sense. I think he's, it's really just to send us a lesson at this point. I mean, I guess, but that still leaves the possibility of, like, we can literally go straight to the authorities and say, like, yeah, her father did this or whatnot. Natsuki would be able to, like, I mean, they would... Nazi would be able to, like, confirm. Like, if we, if, it looked suspicious if, you know, we brought someone in and they're all being up like this and we're like, oh, her father did this. Like, it looked pretty suspicious on our part. But as long as Nazi can testify, then they have, I mean, it's not really much he can do about it. Her breathing is heavy and her speech slowed. She might actually die, though. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to wait and see. He was going to kill me. Then how'd you escape? How how'd she how'd she manage to escape? That's cause that's what I'm wondering. I assumed he just let her go, because I don't see her like being able to escape that. But I mean, if he was gonna kill her, I mean granted he did like slash her chest. I mean that's fairly like that's kill territory. He did it on the wrong side though. Went for the wrong side. Why? Why was he there? You idiot. Why would you even jeopardize the entirety alright? This plan was doomed to fail from the start. First off, because you had the mentality that it's like, you know, oh, this is just like a walk in the park. I'm going to go back and get my coat. This is your father you're talking about, the person who's abused you for your whole life. This is no joking matter. And I mean, as you can see, you suffer the consequences of that mentality and attitude. And then next, the whole plan to begin with, like, what was the plan after you succeeded in doing this? Let's say you did succeed. All right, what's, what now? You had zero plan. Yuri brought it up, but no one paid any attention. And then third, the right thing to do, as soon as you learn about her, you know, injuries, call the police. I mean, if Natsuki can tell them everything her dad did, then testify. I mean, she won't have to deal with that again. I mean, it's the tough decision, but it's the right one. Because if you don't do that, look what happens now. And not only that, if we don't call the police now, I mean... I guess if she dies, I mean, there's no real point. Because, I mean, she's dead. She's gone. But, I mean, I don't, I don't know if she's going to die. Why? Tears flood from her eyes, one of which was swollen shut. This is so stupid. Like, I just, I don't, hold on. This could be the end of, like, the second part of the mod. I mean, well, no, not really, because we'll still have to deal with Yuri's, like, we've dealt with say, the whole Sayori Monica relationship thing. And this, we're obviously failing to deal with her father, and ultimately we'll have to deal with Yuri at some point. So, it's probably not whimpering and pain with every step. So, we're not done yet with this part. Natsuki. What, what are we even doing? We're not even, like, helping her. We're just, like, shouting at her, like, what are you doing? God, no. Alright, I dash forward, scooping Natsuki up. Cradling her broken by, I carry her indoors. Yuri's still here with us. Oh, no, she left. I lay her down on the sofa. Her breathing is shallow and erratic. Calling an ambulance is the first step, please, too. Should have done this as soon as you've learned. I mean, but obviously the MC, his incompetency, his neglect, prevent him from doing that, really. After that, I busy myself trying to staunch the flow of blood from her chest wound. Sprayed deep and bleeding profusely. Yeah, she's, she's probably going to die. Not going to lie. Shit. 
Shit, shit, shit. She needs proper treatment or she might... Don't know? She might pass out, go unconscious, die. Die. Alright. Like, I just... I don't understand, really. This is pointless. That fall freezes my blood in my veins. It's all your fault, too. That's the thing. He, he nearly let two people die this month. I mean, he might let this one die. But he definitely would have let the first one die. That's what happens when you're... He's just like, this is the problem. Like, motive without, like, intent. Like, he's like, oh, I want to save everyone. But he can't. Because he doesn't look at things from a rational, like, perspective. As opposed to, like, a moral perspective, really. He's just like, he, he has that motivation. It's, it's naivety. Like, he thinks that everything will work out if he just does the... Not even necessarily the right thing, but if he has the right attitude towards it. Or, like, he's, like, he has the right mentality or just, like, thoughts about it. But, like, that's not how life works. You can only hope the ambulance arrives in time. I, I honest to God, hope she dies so the MC learns a lesson. I put pressure on the wound. She dies. That's what you're supposed to do, right? He just breaks her ribcage. Something snaps. Just, I'm just... She weakly holds onto my arm, lightly stroking it. Yeah, she's gonna die. I, I hope she dies. She can't die. I really hope she does. I'm not going to let that happen. She, he would have let it happen to Sayori otherwise. This is the simple retribution and punishment for your neglect for Sayori. Never. Never, never. The fuck is that? What? The fuck was that? That's what I was wondering. I'm like... What is the static? Because that wasn't even like... Noise. That wasn't even like thunder or lightning or whatnot. That was just like random crap. The door? Shit. The fuck is... That does not sound like a knock. End. Is that really the end of the mod? <sighs> I could have literally done that in the last part. Alright, but anyway, I did mention in the last part that they did post an update for the mod. And I tried to download it, but I'm having trouble extracting it. For like purposes like this. I mean, so I am gonna try and like, like, you know, apply the update. Because I really want to finish this. I'll actually do that right now. I'm gonna pause the video and do it. Alright, there we go. Um, so, I'll just show what I did. Alright, so, show package contents. Good thing I'm not, I just realized something. Good thing I'm not making money off of any of my videos, because every single fucking video has this piece of fan art, and I realize, like, the name isn't showing on the bottom right-hand corner, because it's too large for the screen. That would be fucked up. I would have, <laughs> yeah, that's like, that would literally end my whole channel. Either that, or the fan make, or the person who made the piece of fan art just gets a lot of money. I mean, in a roundabout way, I'm helping them, but not really. I'm saying that as if my channel makes money, but anyway... So, I can go in the trash and show Archive 1 RPA was the old one. And the new one that I just put in was Archive.RPA. And I mean, this is a good time, I guess. Yeah, this is what the web... Oh, not doing that. But yeah, I just got from the uh, page the, from the creator of Summer Hope. Just use the download link. So, you know, let's get this out of there. It's lagging up the place. So, I mean, are my load files still going to be in there? Alright, they are good. And this is kind of laggy. It's questionable. But I mean, I guess. So, the question is, whether or not, because I didn't save right before the end, because I didn't expect the game to end there, but I'm, I'm wondering whether this will actually work, and if it'll continue. If so, that's good. That's what it's expected. But I mean, I just, I'm, I'm not a tech-savvy person. I'd like to think I kind of am, because I, like, do all the shit with these mods in terms of, like, downloading them and replacing them, but... In reality, I'm not, so I don't really know how it works. I mean, I could just skip. Was wait what? I could. Why could I skip and not now? Was waiting for me. Her breathing is heavy and her speech slowed. She can barely speak at all. Is this different? Was gonna kill me. No, this isn't different. Why? Why was? Why? Tears flowed from her eyes, one of which was swollen shut. She almost wore a drag in her life. That wasn't different. Why? Okay, yeah, this is different. This is different. All right, I dash forward, scooping Natsuki out. I can't believe it. Here's home, really. God, they made the MC sound even more pathetic. I didn't even know that was possible. We should have known this could have happened. I should have seen it coming a million miles off. At least he fucking accepts it at this point. 
Because before he was just like, he was just like screaming. He's like, ah, he was like yelling at Natsuki while she was like bleeding out. At least he called the ambulance though. He should have fucking done that like the first he saw her. I mean, like even if she objects, like she doesn't know what's best for herself because she's been abused her whole life. So I mean, you have to sometimes, you gotta do what's the tough thing. Like when you're presented with tough decisions and whether or not you can step up to the plate. And I've been saying this for a while. That's what determines your character. Because not everything is perfect in life. You do have to make decisions and choices. And whether you can, at the time, make the tough decision prevents outcomes like this. All right, now let's keep this going. But we got to come. We got complacent. We just let our guard down once. And this is the price we've paid. And he, he's like saying this like, we. No, this was you. You came up with the plan. Yuri objected. Yuri was like, but what next? And then you're like, nah, we don't need to worry about that. And, I mean, he has to see it, really. This is entirely on him. This is nobody else but him. Cradling or broken by a carrier indoors. Yeah, this is the same. All right. Is that different? I don't know. I lay her down on the sofa. Her breathing is shallow and erratic. Calling an ambulance is the first step. Please, too. Now he does it. After that, I busy myself trying to staunch the flow of butt f blood from her chest wound. It's pretty deep and bleeding profusely. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. She needs proper treatment or she might die. I hope. I honestly hope she does die, just like to teach the MC a lesson. The thought freezes the blood in my veins. I can only hope the ambulance arrives in time. I put pressure on the wound. That's what you're supposed to do, right? No. You, I mean, yes. What are you going to do? Just let her bleed out? No. Stem the flow of blood. She weakly holds onto my arm, lightly stroking it. She can't die. You say that, but it doesn't mean, you know, the laws of the universe are going to obey what you say. Like, she could die. There's nothing you can do to stop that. If it's going to happen, I'm not going to let it happen. Never. Ah, uh, we'll see. Never, never. Alright, so this is... We can't skip this. What? Ooh, they did... They changed the music. Because, like, before it was, like more staticky, but now it's like the music that I was playing when Yuri was, um, like, was, was this playing when Yuri was? I don't even know. This is just, like, generic creepy music. What the fuck was that? Dude, the fucking door, you retard. It's, it's not lightning, it's not thunder, it's not nothing, but the door, the people are trying to get in. The door? Shit. It's, that still doesn't... Oh, that's her father, that's not the police. I guess, did he... Please don't, please don't tell me he didn't call them yet. Alright, so, this is an interesting scenario. First off, that didn't sound anything like a door. Just throwing that out there. Second, what was the mod where it had a knock on the door? That was, I, I think that was behind closed doors, actually. I think that mod had a knock on the door that got me. Like, it was knocking, and I was like, wait, what the fuck? Who's at our door? But, no. Like, that's, that's, that's a good quality door. This, that doesn't sound like the door, but anyway. All right, this is interesting. All right. All right, so you have the opportunity to end his life. I mean, even if you can't really explain yourself. I mean, it's it's fairly obvious what's going on. I guess, mm, as long as Natsuki can testify, like, I mean, then you're good, really. I mean, because, like, it's going to look suspicious if you kill her father and then, like, the police and ambulance arrive, and there's just her father lying there dead and Natsuki beaten. And then, like, you're just coming out there unscathed or whatnot. I mean, but as long as she can testify, then in the end it'll work out. I mean, like, I mean, even if not, like, what are you going to do? Just let him come in. All right, so this is interesting. This is interesting. So before it just ended there. So it looks like their intention was to bring the father in. I honestly thought that was the ambulance. I'm like, all right, that was fairly quick. But I mean, I guess some things have to go well in the mod, but nope. All right. Wait, so how did she manage to escape him? It never brought that up. Or I guess she, she did talk about it a little in the previous version. But like, now, I mean, how did she manage to escape? Like, if he's not incapacitated in some sort of way, if he's managed to come all the way out here, like... Where is she? Mm, she's gone. Dead. I mean, I know a voice. What? I haven't heard it in a while, and the usual jovial tone has been supplanted by screams of rage. Because we know the MC has interacted with her father before. 
Well, he's like, oh, he's a doctor. He can't possibly do anything bad. Even though doctors and like, mm, doctors, it's a questionable profession. Not gonna lie. Not saying if you're a doctor, you're a bad person. But like serial killer like type stuff, like mad scientist type stuff, doctors, it's the same thing. I mean, I recognize it all the same. It's, what is it? Oh, oh my god, I was thinking of that thing I was where it's like, as the arrives, all the same. Now it's here. Should I say I am? That's her father instead. Doctor Soichiro Shirai. I spelled. I pronounced that right. Yep, Soichiro Shirai, because her last name is Shirai. And then this is obviously her father. You little prick. All right, so now it gives her him a name. I wonder if we're gonna see like a model of him. That'd be really interesting, because I know the model that behind closed doors uses is like the general model. I'm not sure if like the creator of that mod was actually the one who created the model, but I mean, it's the first time I've seen it. But yeah, that's the general, except like Dad Suki from, uh, where it's, oh my god, it's, I'm not even sure if it's Dio or Jojo, I don't watch Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, but that's not really important, I guess we'll see. I'll kill you if you've done anything to her. Yes, we did, we healed her. Good, go ahead, kill us. What, what does he have to kill us with? I mean, I guess, the, the problem being that, the reason why Natsuki's father is able to overpower her is because Natsuki's, like, so frail, so malnourished. I mean, for all we know, her father has the same build as us. Like, this could be, like, a stick fight if we're just, like, these two are just, like, slapping each other. I don't really know what's going to go on. I guess I don't know. Is the door gone bust? Done anything to her? Done anything to her? Yeah, we touched her. We brought her in our house. That's what we did. All right, so here's what here's the deal. You go to your kitchen, grab a knife, and you just end his life. That's that's what you gotta do. I mean, it's what's gotta happen. There's no like two thoughts about it. That's just what needs to be done. How dare he? After what he's done, I went over to the front door and pressed my body against, pushing back against Doctor Shirai's attempts to break through. Dude, there are windows. Like preventing him from entering through the door isn't gonna mean he's gonna like not come through another place. My anger boils over. Fuck you. You have no right to be concerned about her. Not after everything you've done to her. Not after this. This? What did... Oh, I guess what he did to her now. Bro, she could she could be dying and the MC is just like literally just like trying to fight off her father. Like she's like actually bleeding out. Did she tell you? So she did tell you. Figures. What do you mean by this? This renders me incredulous. I'm not sure what's more galling. His nonchalance about his past crimes? Crimes. Or his apparent ignorance of Nazi's current condition? I'm, I'm starting to question that. I'm like, what the hell do you think this is? Try to kill her, you bastard. She's busy bleeding out on my couch because of you. Why the music stop? Because, like... Alright, here, here's the thing. What's going on here? Alright, first off, no music. Second off, he's obviously going to say, like, what, or because of it, or what not. Like... I'm so confused at this point because this is making it seem like he's not the one doing this. And I mean, given what he said earlier, like, I mean, he, he did seem like let's, I can even look at the line of text. Like, so she, cause like, all right. So here's, here's the thing. So he's angry at us. That's the thing. Next. He's like, so she did tell you figures. What do you mean by this? Not after everything you've done to her, not after you've done this. So she did tell you figures. Th this, this line is what makes me question, like, what he's, like, doing, really. Because, like, he says this as if, like, she needed to tell him something as opposed to, like... Because if she walks there, you know, bleeding out, like, that's obvious. Like, she doesn't need to tell you, like, what's going on if her father is truly, like, beating her up or whatnot. I mean, and, like, also, he says, what do you mean by this? Like, if he did beat her to the point of near death, like, this is obvious. We know Dr. Shirai, he's a doctor. He's a PhD or a doctorate or whatever, so he's not a dumb person. He's, like, not, he might be trying to rile the MC, but, I mean, like, if he's, like, actually questioning, like, what do you mean by this? He's, like, so she did tell you figures. What do you mean by this? This is the line that makes, because, like, I saw that line and I questioned it. I'm, like the fuck is he saying? And then apparently like, and then we skip through what the MC's like screaming about. We click past and he's like, wait, what? 
about like what not. So like now this isn't st this is starting to make me question everything. I mean, I could easily like click and he'll be like, "Oh, you mean she's bleeding out?" That's yeah, I definitely did that. But I mean, it's it's interesting because like her his motive for doing this to her was unclear because she said, you know, he just started doing it, you know, uh, when she became an adult or when she started to transition to becoming an adult. So when she started puberty, which makes zero sense. It would make sense if he did it like at the time of her birth because her mother died and he just sees her as like some sort of like false replacement in that she killed her mother in some twisted sense. But I mean, his rationale here is making me question what he's doing. So like, all right, let's go through this again. So she did tell you figures. What do you mean by this? So she did tell you, obviously, if you know, I guess the, the chest wounds, that would make sense. But I mean... So before I was like, if she's, if you know, if she's like injured, she doesn't really need to tell him. But I guess with the chat, the stomach wounds, that does make sense. And then what do you mean by this? Like, obviously her being near beaten to the death, if he was the one that caused it, he shouldn't be like, because he was screaming before this, but now he's like actually like questioning. He's like, what do you mean by this? He's like, wait, what the fuck? He's like, what's going on? See if he's no longer screaming. He's not really taunting. He's actually questioning. And now he's like, let's just see. His voice cracks. What? What did you say? All right. So unless he's like his voice cracks. All right. So because obviously this now he could be gloating. He's like, what did you say? Yes. Yes, I did that. But because like his voice cracks, your voice doesn't lie. Like your words can lie, but your voice doesn't. Same with your eyes. Those are the two things that don't lie. Like, so now I'm like, I'm like questioning the whole thing. Like, because I Obviously, I did question the father's motives from the beginning, saying that he had no real motive or no real purpose to doing this. Like, that was the thing. And then not only that, like, on top of everything else, now he's like, now the picture is being painted as if he's not really done any of it, I guess, by what he's saying. But this could just be a ploy to get in our house. That could be a ploy. Because then if he didn't do this, like, who did? Or how is this possible? But, like, I guess... I said she's dying because of what you did to her. And then we're actually like talking through the door. The wound, huh? The wound, where is it and how deep is it? Yeah, he's saying this like he didn't do it this to her. This is what I'm like, this is what I'm talking about. Her daughter means too much to him. We've seen what he's done before. Obviously, he's a smart man. He was beating her in the stomach area. Well, I guess the stomach area could be lethal. I guess the chest area is slightly more lethal, but it's in a place where it wouldn't be seen and it wouldn't be like too life-threatening and I mean obviously that could be that probably is the doctor's fault but I mean now like what exactly was that like I don't really understand what's <sighs> I understand it now this I get all right let's go back to this photo Hold on. I'm going to... All right. Let me... Let me just... Let me... All right. It, it literally hit me like a truck. Let's load this. L take a look at this. Notice something. Look at the cuts. Especially on her chest. Those are large, deep cuts. Take a moment to, like, appreciate that. Second off, look at her forearms cuts horizontally, especially on her left one, or I guess her right or left, we can see this. I mean, her black eye is kind of different, but this isn't the work of her father. This is the work of Yuri. I get, I, this, that's the only explanation. That's the only explanation. Because before, I mean, granted, we didn't like pause on a picture of it or whatnot. Yeah, we aren't able to see a good picture of it. All right, look, let's look back at this. All right. We know Yuri has gone off the deep end due to our negligence and ignorance. This this has to be Yuri. There is no other explanation. Because I've questioned her father's motives from the beginning. And that's, that's the first step. In that he has no real purpose treating her like the way he did. I mean, granted, the, the marks on the chest, they were her father. Like, there's no real doubt about that. They were obviously her father. He has never used, like, some sort of knife... Or, like, I guess, what would you call it? Like, apparation? Or, like, any sort of, like, tool to, like, make incisions in her body before. Like, he's not done that. And then, second off, I guess, besides all that, him 
Like, I guess I can go back to history. Oh, hold on. And then we, hold on, we have to load this, and then go back to history from there. And then, obviously, this. So she did tell you. So he's thinking this is something, like, that she tells him. So this must have been about the chest wounds. He's thinking that, like, you know, from his point of view, he's thinking that everything's fine and that she just ran off to him and she only told him about her, like, stomach wounds, like, the bruises. And then he's like, what do you mean by this? Like, so he doesn't really know what... Obviously, he could say that to, like, taunt the MC in a way. So, like, saying by, like, oh, this. Like, yes, I did this. But, like, he really means, like, this. Like, what's going on? Like, what do you mean this? What did I do? What's What did I cause? And now he's, like, now, because we're, like, she's bleeding out on our couch. And he's, like, he's, like, wait, wait, wait. What did you say? And then now we're just, like, chill. We're, we're like, now we're no longer screaming. We're, like, I said she's dying because of what you did to her. We're, like, questioning at this point. We're, like, what are you saying? Like, do you not know what you did to her? Are you, like... I don't know, like, short-term memory loss, but now he's actually trying to fix the situation. He's like, the wound, huh? The wound, where is it and how deep is it? This is what, like, as soon as he started this, oh, my God, there was literally, it, it came to me, and it hit it hit hard, the realization. Because then I was, I was like, thinking, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then it, it like, hit me. And I'm like, wait a second. This is, this has to be Yuri. That's the only explanation. That's, that's, oh, my God, that's... I, I knew this was shifty from the start. I knew not everything was as it seemed. You should know, bro. At this point, it's obvious he didn't do it. Listen, I don't know what she told me. Most of it's probably true, but I never tried to kill her. Not now, not ever. This is what I've said. He cares about her too much. He's put too much time and effort in shaping her into the person she is today. Granted, it's not healthy for her. It's definitely not a healthy lifestyle. And it's definitely a more one-sided, abusive relationship. But... It's out of character for him to try and kill her. I decided to humor him. The worst one is down her chest next to her sternum. It's pretty deep and she bleeding badly. Shit. Have you treated the wound at all? Gauze and pressure. Hmm, that's a start, but hmm. the ambulances are overworked as it is. It could be too late. Let me in. I have a trauma kit in my car. I can save her. Are you kidding me? You're not going anywhere near. Listen. Listen. All right. So, MC, don't fuck up again. Like, he nearly fucked up with Sayori by, like, he was literally about to dip when he got to Sayori's house. And then Monica stopped him. This is effectively the same scenario. If we prevent him from entering our house, Natsuki dies. That's the question. That's No, that's not even a question. That's like what it is. He, The MC's decision now, whether laying her, him in, and letting him attempt to treat the wound, that's ultimately... That's what's going to make or break this. That's what's going to let her live or die. Also, let's see what Natsuki said. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I wanna go back and see what Natsuki said. Alright, so load game. Let's go here. The shape stumbles into view. Beaten. Alright, let's see what she says. Natsuki. Was waiting for me. Was gonna kill me. She didn't necessarily say he. I'm pretty sure in the last part she said he. Why? Why was... Why? That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Th th that's so interesting because, all right, any of these old saves are probably just gonna kill the game. I don't want to load them, but because in the previous part, he she he definitely said he he was like, why was he waiting there? Why was he? But in this part, she doesn't say he. That's that's all the confirmation I need. Uh, lose save progress. All right, yeah, I am. That's all the confirmation I need. This was definitely the work of Yuri. That's this was definitely Yuri. That's the. Only explanation. Alright, I spent a good 10-15 minutes, like, with that. Now we're gonna go past this. Is he... Please, I'm begging you. I mean, you have to. If he, if you don't, basically, she dies. I mean, do you want her to die? That is the, that is the scenario at this point. Because the MC can't do anything to save her. But, I mean, the potential, you know, sort of, like, twisted reality that, you know, what was... Ha what happened to her was not the cause of her father. That was so, like, ingrained to believe. I mean, really, like, the MC could be spiteful, prevent... Why is there sad music playing? Is she gonna die because the MC's really not gonna let him in? Because at this point, the MC, he has to weigh his options. She dies, or 
he lets the doctor in, and potentially, if what he's saying is true, he saves her. I won't let her die, not like her mother. So, her mother died in childbirth, we know that. I guess if that really was the doctor's fault, then yeah. I mean, I guess, we, we still don't know enough about that. We can't really speculate. It's not really impervious to the model, like, important. Look, if you let me in, I'll turn myself in. So, like, yeah, this basically does confirm about, like, what he did in terms of, like, beating her, dressing her, like, making her who she is, like, for, like, I guess, weighing her, preventing her from, like, not even just, like, not having food, but preventing her from eating so she maintains a certain weight. What? I'll do anything. I just can't lose her. This is what I've been saying. This is what I've been, this is what I've been saying. Like, it just, he has to let her do it. I mean, if he doesn't, then it's his own fault she dies. Why? Why would he say that? Why would he turn himself in when he spent all these years threatening Natsuki to cover for what he's done? The, the MC asks the dumbest questions in existence for what he's done. That's the question. Because he wants to save her. Like, you're the only thing preventing that from happening. Like, at this point, he has to sort of, like, question what's going on. And, like, obviously he doesn't trust the father, but... In reality, it is about weighing his options. He prevents him from entering his house and treating Natsuki, and she dies. Or, he lets him in and he potentially saves her. There is the slight possibility that he does save her, at least from the MC's point of view. He has to take that chance for the life of his daughter. It's absurd, but it might be the only hope she's got. That is, that's what I've been saying. Gotta let it happen. Fine. Alright, are we gonna get to see... Carefully unlock the door. Are we gonna get to see a, a model of her father? Backing off, stay off arms, reach of him. I allow him to enter the house. Alright. This is a different model, though. I mean, I have seen this before, this model before, but I've never actually played a mod with it. So we know she gets her eyes and her hair from her dad. Well, I guess her, his hair is a different color. It's more reddish. God, his shaving so I'm can't, like, dude, fucking cut it off. That's, like, the ugliest, like, and he's also his clothes. Look. Look at his, his tie isn't even tied, shirt isn't even tucked in, yeah, he's like, he's like desperate at this point, this shows, he's, he's not like, I guess, what would you call it, not necessarily in control, but he's not like, I don't even know, he stands before me, eyeing me up and down for a couple of seconds before pushing past me to get to the patient, Natsuki, yeah, this is like, shock, like, your eyes give the most information away, like, more than like, your any other part of your face. Your eyes show your true intentions, along with your voice. Like I've said, he squats down next to her and checks her over. His eyes wide with worry. He turns to me. You, I need your help, huh? Get down here and pass me the things I need. Got it? Oh yeah, cause he brought his kid or whatever. My face contorts into a snarl. Do you want to save her or not? The fuck are the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? Like, what's going on? Swallowing so my pride, I plop down next to him. Yeah, like don't. Don't be like, pride is a sin, you know. Don't be toxic. Don't be like, I'm too good to help you. I can save her all on my own. Dude, you're not a doctor. As he sets about stabilizing her condition, he has me pass some various pieces of equipment and consumables. Watching him work on Natsuki, it's amazing. He's so skillful and precise in a way that bellies, belies his disheveled appearance. That's what I was looking for, disheveled. He's not like, I guess, I was, I'm looking for the opposite, not shoveled. That's not a word, but it's like a word with C. I guess, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Cleaning the wound pack and bandaging it. It's kind of a shame. A shame that he's an abusive asshole. Listen, people have their flaws. And I guess, not even necessary flaws. You could blame this on, you know, her mother dying. But, it really doesn't make sense how he did start to do it, you know, when she started, like, in puberty. That just seems like out of left field. Doesn't seriously seem like a reason for him to do it. Gritting my teeth, I continue to act as his girlfriend until he finally, he sighs in relief. Phew, that auto hold her until the ambulance arrives. She's not out of the woods yet, but this at least gives her a fine chance. He marches over to the fridge and roots around, eventually taking one of my dad's beers and cracking it open. How did he, he just cracks it open with his, like, hand? Like, wait, what the fuck? He's just, what is he doing? He's just, like, loafing around our house. He slumps down to the floors, back to his sofa where Noski lays resting. Her breathing is still ragged and shallow, but has slowed to a more regular pace. That's good. And so I guess this shows us that, you know, well, I mean, having a beer once, like, having, he's stressed, but I mean... That more so conveys to me that I guess he's an alcoholic or whatnot. Maybe. I don't know. But I mean, he's obviously just trying to chill after, you know, saving his daughter's life. My own breathing returns to return to a semblance of normality. I crack a beer of my own and join Dr. Shry on the floor. Forgot, because the drinking age is, what, 18? I don't even know. Ah, uh, I enjoy one of these while I still can. Just sneak one up your prison wallet. 
So how'd you find us anyway? He saw her. He laughed mirthlessly. Heh, don't think I didn't notice you sniffing around my daughter, young Master Raven. The fuck does that even mean? This is why I'm saying, like, I also his tie is really fucking small. I'm not even gonna lie. It's like, but anyway, yeah, that's what I've said. He's a doctor. He has, he's smart. Like, like, it doesn't take, and even so, it doesn't take a smart person to know when something's up with someone. Like, Natsuki, especially Natsuki, she was probably acting fairly questionable around her father, especially when she started hanging out with us. Walking her home, and goodness knows what else. So he did actually say that. All right, yeah, that's fairly obvious. We we should tell him right now. We should tell him right, right now. That would be funny as fuck. We're just like, yeah, by the way, uh, we hit that. Like, we banged your daughter. I want, I want to see how you would react. That would be funny as fuck. And I mean, hold on. And he's like, goodness knows what else. So he knows we're fairly close. I'm not necessarily sure he's suspecting what we know. But I mean, just more so like, you know, he's basically like, yeah, you two are a thing. So, this for your address, that was easy. I just pulled from the surgery records. Surgery records? What happened? I had a feeling that you're going to be the beginning of the end, I guess. Oh, he's, he's crying. Damn, I didn't notice that. But I'm like, those are actually tears. Jesus, that's sad. That's sad. Because, I mean, I guess the beginning of the end of not necessarily, I guess, her death. Not, like, her daughter, but, like, the lifestyle that he had, where basically he was entirely in control over his daughter's life. Because once she met us, obviously, like, that he was starting to lose influence and control. Now, he's basically going to turn himself in. I mean, it's fairly obvious. But the, the question... All right. All right. Obviously, we can have our sentimental moment, but... The question is... And I guess this is really a question for Natsuki, because I neither of us know this, apparently, but... I guess we know as the third, as the player, as the third person, like, who did this to her. We know it's Yuri. I mean, it's fairly obvious how they changed he to just, no, that's, that's why when we had the history, that's why we couldn't skip it, because they removed the words he. Oh my god, this mod is so fucking good. This mod is so good. This is, I think this, I think this mod is better than Exit Music, at least in the way it's going. And that, that's like, you can see, like, he's the father, obviously he's a bad person, but he's not a bad person for the sake of being bad. He's not just like a deadbeat dad that Exit Music portrays him. He lost his wife during childbirth. That's probably the worst thing you can lose. Someone who you genuinely love, and you know, who you basically, who is your, I guess, what do they call it? Family of procreation. I guess that's the anthropological term, but... Like, that's possibly the worst thing that can happen to a person, especially during, like, childbirth. Like, if they die naturally, that's everyone is a time. But during childbirth, that feels like they were stolen from you. And, like, to see, you know, the offspring that killed your wife every day, like, I would go mad. I'm not going to lie. I would go mad. And he, obviously, he didn't necessarily hate her for that. But he did. It did affect him in a way as to where seeing her grow up made him sort of like, I guess, remember, I guess, seeing Natsuki become an adult made him remember of his wife, and he didn't want that to happen, so he resorted to insane things such as dressing her cutely, you know, f like, weighing her, or like, watching her weight to, like, the extreme where she was basically going malnourished, as opposed to eating and growing. Like, she wanted to see him or her stay a child and I guess in the end that does sort of make sense now that we have this revelation that you know because he lost his because of his wife and now like we can see like crying that's like one of the most emotional things you can do like letting it out or whatnot and seeing someone like him who is abused and asking your whole life doing it we get more insight into what this is because I criticized him earlier saying it doesn't really make sense for him to like sort of I guess not be like it doesn't really make sense for what he's doing to like have started while she was hitting puberty and growing but now looking at it that makes even more sense than you know the latter being him just beating her because she reminds him of his wife he's doing this to her because she doesn't want her to suffer the same fate as his wife she does he doesn't want to see her grow up and become an adult woman because he sees that as you know her turning into his wife. He doesn't want that to happen. So, yeah, this is just, this, this mod is great. 
I'm not even gonna lie. When I started playing this mod, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be like a discount version of Exit Music. Only one file, like, how much can they fucking fit in that? Like, what's, like, there's gonna be, like, no art, no background, no music, whatnot. But this mod has proven the contrary. Like, I mean, looking at, it's interesting. Because my top five mods now, I think, are New Eyes, Rain Clouds, Summer Hope, Exit Music, and Behind Closed Doors. The latter three are Natsuki mods. I mean, I guess the... I, I do want a good mod come on. I will eventually play Day Club, but yeah, this is just like... This is depressing to me at this point. So when I came home early to find all of her things gone, I knew there was only one place she could be. Alright, yeah. I guess... Because he didn't know what happened to her. I mean, granted, he was still sad, because like... And he was still enraged from the thought that, you know, she just left him like that. And that's interesting, because he's gonna... He's going to probably give a description of what he saw because she didn't come back for her coat. She must have not come back for her coat. That that had to have... So he came straight here. So yeah, then she didn't never made it back for her coat. That's interesting. So hold on. So we... Because we know Yuri left before Natsuki. So she must have been waiting for her to leave, I guess. Or like, I don't know. I guess waited for the opportunity. Because she was... Oh my God. This... Everything's starting to make sense. Because the scene earlier was she, where she was asking like... I guess not even necessarily Monica, but just like, I'd really say it's for like an entity from a book, The Portrait of Markov. It is some sort of like, I guess, I don't know. She was in a way asking, you know, what she should do. And this is what it answered. So she waited. And then she did this to Natsuki while she left for her coat. Huh? So he always knew the plan would have never worked. You dumbass. It was never meant to work. He's, I've said this. I don't know. God damn it. Yuri was right. Bringing up Yuri, no matter her motivation for saying those things, she was on the mic the whole time. I wish I'd listened to her. Now we do, and now look what she did to Natsuki. Hmm? I'm still wondering how Natsuki escaped Yuri's grasp. I guess she wanted her to sort of, like, come to us bleeding out, in that, you know, she would hopefully die with us. And that would be our punishment for, you know, ignoring her or whatnot. More awkward signs interspersed with drinking. Her mother, she died in childbirth. Tell me everything he saw, because I do want to know whether she actually made it back for her coat or not. I doubt it, which, because then we would start to question it, being that we'd be like, oh, she went back for her coat, and we assumed you beat her, and then she managed to escape. Yeah, Natsuki told me. It crushed me, but the only thing that kept me going was the thought that I've still got Natsuki. As soon as she hit puberty, I panicked. All right, so she he's basically saying everything I talked about. The same thing could happen to her. It's all I could think about. I couldn't bear to lose her like I lost her mother. So I said about making sure it would never happen. I kept her away from boys as much as I could, but I knew that wasn't going to work forever. So I began to starve her, hindering the growth of her secondary sexual characteristics. I have no clue. So you mean her tits and her fucking ass. That's real. That's what you mean, right? That's that's what he means. Because, like, primary, that'd be, you know, the reproductual, reproduction organs. And secondary, that that's, like, that's literally tits and ass. The hope was that she wouldn't be able to get pregnant in the first place. I'm not, I'm not, dude, you're a doctor. You know that that's probably flawed. Like, I mean, as a guy, if you take a hard enough kick to, like, the nuts, you're probably not going to have children. But, I mean, this, I, I doubt that'll happen. And then she just had to start asking questions. Couldn't let her tell anyone. I didn't want to hurt her. It just seemed like the only way. So it went on and on. I'm so tired, right? Can't do this anymore. I sit there listening, completely dumbstruck. This is what happens when you go in with, like, a conceited sort of view. When you fail to take a step back and look at things rationally from a third-person perspective. To when you fail to look at stuff like motive and like reasoning behind what in the actions are as opposed to the actions themselves. Is he telling me that all of the horrible things he did were really out of love? Misguided love, but love nonetheless. Yeah, that's basically it. My mouth flaps as I try to find the words to express what I'm feeling right now. That bastard, does he even know what Noski's dream is? Can she still? He shakes his head. Probably not. No. <laughs> well, after what happened today, definitely not. You know, you've probably ruined her life, right? This earns me a sad sigh. I'm not here for forgiveness, Raven. In fact, I was originally here to kick your ass. I mean, obviously. Let's go. Let's not lie. He could have probably kicked our ass. Like, given how scrawny the MC is. But here we are, and I just figured I owe you an explanation of some kind. I don't like you. You're soft, cocky, and a bit dense. <laughs> Even her fucking father knows. Like... That, that all all three of those words are true. We're soft. He would kick our ass. We're cocky. We think the fucking world of ourselves. And we are dense. We fail to realize what's actually going on. I mean, because 
we failed to even like recognize, you know, if he didn't do this, who did? Like we didn't even question it. And I mean, obviously we wouldn't come to the conclusion of Yuri, but we didn't even start to question it. But you're all she's got now. Suddenly he shoots me an intense look. You find out who did this to her, you hear? Alright. This alright, so now this is serious time. Because we haven't even questioned it. Like, obviously we know as the player it's Yuri. Like, I mean, it really is the only explanation because we know the father didn't do this to her. I guess at this point we know, but we never even bothered to question who did. And I mean, obviously, he want he at this point his life is over. He's going behind bars, spending time in jail, whatnot. His portion, his like influence in her life is gone at this point. Like she's gonna go, he's gonna go. He's slowly been losing losing influence, I guess. But now he just lost it for good since he's gonna be going to jail. And now, obviously, it's up to us to continue from where he left off. Not necessarily doing what he did, but being the main, the person who has the most influence in her life. Or I guess being the main influencer in her life. I have to depend on you now. This is going to be a hell of a task. If he was there and came straight here, then Natsuki didn't even make it all the way home before she was attacked. Yep, Yuri jumped her. So this is true. So Because I was wondering if, you know, she got her coat, her father saw her sort of like, chased her out and then she got jumped by Yuri or if she was walking home and got jumped by Yuri but I figured it was the latter because you know she didn't have her coat or whatnot if it wasn't Dr. Shirai then who was it who hurt her I mean we're obviously not going to be able to come to the conclusion that's Yuri but all right this just came to my mind Monica's role in all of this because we know she sort of knew that like you know Sayori was about to die and I guess that was that might have been a one-shot thing because she hasn't really been paying attention to Nasi or Yuri's issues. But it is quite possible that, I mean, we're never going to come to a conclusion that's Yuri. That's not going to happen. But it's quite possible that Monica could somehow figure out. That's a decent possibility. I mean, granted, I don't think it'll happen because obviously her relationship with Sayori is skewed her rationality. But I mean, we don't know. Sirens blaring outside herald the arrival of the emergency services. Dr. Shry gets up and strains his shirt. Well, see you later. Well, no, he's not going to see us later, but... Well, it looks like my cue to exit. This is his goodbye. What? I thought you were going to turn yourself in. Come on, Raven. I think we both know there's only one way this can end. Look after her, okay? Don't let her die. Before I can imagine our worry, bolts to the back doors. The ambulance crew knocks on the front. Alright, so he wasn't going to turn himself in. Alright, he just dips. He's just like... He's just like fucking speedy, speedy Gonzalez, like to that other door. But I mean, yeah, obviously he's, he's just going to dip. I mean, he's going to take his stuff, pack his bags, and then get out of wherever we are. Like, I mean, he might be able to see her again. Probably not. Probably in however many years it takes, but don't know. We'll have to see. Nazi stirs in her half-conscious stupor. Dad, I hate you. It's like, all right. Now let's see what happens now. Once we got to the hospital, she was immediately admitted. Also, nice music. I, I was worried it was going in there. I'm like, please don't end there. Who is her next of kin, they asked. Of course, now technically that was me. The fuck? They list, they list off her injuries one by one. Multiple lacerations and contusions. Yup. Knife. It's Yuri. Concussion. Broken ribs. Detached retina. Torn ligament in her ankle. That might have been her father. Not gonna lie. Whoever had done this to her had really gone to town on her. All you could do is wait until she's better before we can ask her about the incident. So she is going to survive, because I was questioning about whether she would die or not, but this makes it seem like she's going to survive. After discussing with the doctor, what her father told me, they also found her to be severely malnourished. Alright, so her father, but obviously her father's out of town at this point. I love how he's like, we're like, I thought you were going to turn yourself in. And then he just like takes a swig, and he's like, you thought, and then just dips. She was beginning to show signs of a number of vitamin deficiency diseases. Alright, that's serious then. Like, Jesus. She was still unconscious when left, but the doctor assured that she'd make a full recovery. First doctor she'd seen in 18 years that wasn't her father. It's true. Thought still hasn't sunk in. Because he's probably done everything for her. Or she's probably never seen, like, Dr. Dennis. Or... When I'd arrive home, the police were waiting for me. So I guess it's day now? Alright. They'd found Dr. Shirai dead in his home. That's, that's what I was wondering about. Because my thought was, you know, I thought he was honestly, I was thinking he would, like, what was his, what was his, like, line? I'm surprised I didn't see that coming. He's like, because it's like, what? Hold on, what were we see? Well, that looks like my cue to exit. What? I thought you were going to turn yourself in. 
And he's like, come on, Raven. I think we know there's only one way this can end. Look after her for her okay don't let her die so that means because like if he was just like like yeah i'm not gonna let that happen he would dip but he's like we both know there's only two ways this can end like i mean either he goes to jail for life pretty much or you know he or you know he like sort of puts aside his pride and ends his own life i see it as more like an honorable thing at this point what he's doing because i mean he's caused her 18 years of trouble Granted, it was what he thought was right for her, but it's sort of like, it was what he thought was right for her, but just because he thinks it's right doesn't mean it is. And now he's starting to realize that, you know, everything's starting to unravel his sort of like, his world that he has built for her is starting to come undone. And by, I guess, whatever little honor or pride or what, whatever there is left, like he needs to make the decision to you know, do the, really do the right thing and then just off himself. Like, that's really what needed to happen. And that was, he, for once, he made the right choice. Like, that's really what it comes down to. Like, he's like, it, I've, I fucked up. I've done the wrong thing for so long. I now need to do something right. And then he kills himself. I'm surprised I didn't think of that. Because I was honestly thinking, you know, he just dips. Like, I wasn't thinking of, you know, him killing himself. The thought did come to my mind. I honestly thought he was going to, like, rush out and, like, I get shot somehow. I don't know. And that's what I was thinking would happen. But I wasn't really thinking suicide. That's kind of, I don't know, for whatever reason, that was beyond me. I was told his bloodstream contained large amounts of something called pentobarbital. All right, I'm going to Google that. Just ignore what I'm doing right now. Just hang on. Pentobarbital. All right. Let's see. Pentobarbital. Common brands. Nembutal sodium. Let's see. Alright, prescription needed. Consult a doctor. Uh, avoid alcohol. Various serious interactions can occur. Hmm. Drug class. Barbiturate. I don't really know this, but I guess. Anticonvulsant and sedative. It can treat tension, anxiety, nervousness, and trouble falling asleep in some. It can help patients relax before surgery and medical procedures. In addition, it can treat epilepsy and seizures. Controlled substances can cause paranoid or suicidal ideation and impair memory, judgment, and coordination. Combining with other substances, particularly alcohol, can slow breathing and possibly lead to death. Alright, so basically the drug, when combined with alcohol, kills you. And that's what he did. Alright, that's some helpful information to know that specifically, I guess, how he died. Apparently it's drug used for euthanasia. Alright, I'm just a dumbass, I guess. I don't know. That was what Google said. They said they were ruling it as a suicide. I mean, weird. They were weird. It's, it obviously was. What's, what else would it be? It wouldn't be your, like force feeding it down his throat. Like, it was a suicide. They found him clutching Nazi's coat, the only one of her belongings she'd left behind. This is really sad. I guess this, this, it's not necessarily sad. It's tragic. It's beyond sad. It's tragic. That's what I call tragic. Bastard. I want him to face justice. I mean, because the problem being that justice through the law system, like, as opposed to justice, like, by honor, like, what, at this point, it's about what's more appropriate for Natsuki. If he is rotting in jail, the thought of him still lingers in Natsuki's mind. But if he is dead, that's not a possibility. Because if she, if he is still alive, she would have to still be dealing with him, even if he's halfway around the world, confined to a prison cell. Like he, because he exists, he would still, you know, be an influence on her life just by, you know, surviving. But by killing himself, he ensures that that's no longer a possibility and a thought in her mind. And I hate him. I still do. But to go out like this. Now I'm home surrounded by Natsuki's belongings, but no Natsuki. I'm, I'm saying it's better that he did that. For once in his life, he's making the right decision. Like, I can even smell her on any, everything around me. It's maddening. The dreams I've had of what we'd be doing tonight have quickly been round to dust. You know what you can do with that time? Be productive. Try and think about, you know, who might have done this to her. I mean, obviously he's not going to, but I mean, it is 
And so I spend the night alone, staring at the ceiling, wishing she was here. Who is the one person you can talk to? One person you can talk to that you know that it would be appropriate to talk to them about this. And, like, not let them know. Or I guess, and be sure that they wouldn't tell anyone. It would have to be Monica. Because, I mean, Sayori, like, granted, Sayori's a good person. She uplifts the mood around everyone around her. But trusting her is a piece of information like that isn't necessarily the call. Especially Yuri's even a worse choice because obviously not only did she cause this, but ultimately, I mean, she we've sort of like been growing apart. We've been growing distant. We've like been separated from her. It really only is Monica who we can trust this piece of information with. I really hope he does tell her, but I honestly doubt something like that will happen. I honestly doubt he'll even give it a thought. He'll just be like trudging on in life. All right. One month. One goddamn long month. I guess until we see her again, I guess. That has to be it. I guess she's going to be in for a month. And she's finally coming home. All right. Is that today? Did we just skip past a month? The bell chimes for the end of class, and everyone gets up to move except for me. I'm so exhausted from waiting for this moment that now it's here. My fear refused to move. What's been going on in the Lurch Club, though? Because we do know that this was Yuri. So what's been going on for the past month, like, in regards to Yuri? Has she just sort of, like, stagnated and... Or has she, like, exponentially got worse? I guess we don't know. He might, like, say, like, he might give a brief, I guess, I don't know, talk about what happened in the past time, but as everyone fell to side, I slowly rise to my feet and begin to shuffle towards the door. She's coming home today at long last. I smile to myself as I head out into the corridor. People move all around me as if in slow motion. Their chatter blends together in a defeating clamor. It's like white noise, but something rings familiar amongst the racket. A voice I know. Hello, Raven. It's been a while. Hello, Yuri. I know what you did. You can fool the MC, but I mean, it, it's obvious. This ha there's, there's no other way. It because ha there's no other explanation. It has to be Yuri. So have we not talked with Yuri since the last time we did? Since she was in our home? I mean, it's quite plausible. I don't really know what's been going on in the last month, and we do know that we sort of like pushed Yuri away. We've, like, neglected her and, like, ignored her from our little group. But, I mean, since the Natsuki incident, the others have to have known by now. I mean, Yuri obviously knows because she caused it. But Sayori and Maka have to have known by now. And I guess group dynamics could be different with her gone. Like, Yuri could have gone back into, like, the swing of things. Like, we could have been more accepting of her. Oh, hey, Yuri. Yeah, you're right. It hasn't been to the club since the attack. Okay, so we do know that the MC hasn't been there. Which means that Yuri... I guess Sayori and Monica have been there. But I mean, Yuri and, or I guess, all of them have to know by now. I mean, I guess, the, not necessarily all of them have to know, because Yuri already knew, because she did it. But the information has to have been given to all of them. So, like, Sayori, Monica, and Yuri all have to, like, I guess Yuri has to pretend like she's just figuring out about it. But Sayori and Monica really did just learn. Every union was spent by Natsuki's sign instead. It makes sense. We missed you in the club, you know. Eh, sorry. Do they really not know? Don't tell me they don't know, please. You have nothing to apologize for. We understand. Alright, so they do know. She's coming home tonight, right? Yuri's putting a good face up. She's putting a good face. Like, I mean, because she, she definitely did. There's no way it was anyone else. Yeah. How has she been? Alright, so she is. But that's that's questioning. That's questionable. Because she does seem kind of concerned. Or, like, guilty in a way. Like, looking at this face. Like, maybe, you know, she was... Because she did talk about how, like, I guess, you know, she, she did talk about, like, when she was with us, that, like, sometimes she doesn't feel like herself. And I guess that could be her other side talking. It probably was her other side that did this to her. And now she probably feels guilty about it because she knows she can't share that information with anyone. I mean, if she did, then, you know, she'd be, I guess, arrested. If somehow, like, she can't really share it with anyone. Because, I mean, there is no person she'd be able to share it with that, I guess... If she shared it with Monica, maybe that's the only person she could share with it without Monica ran out to the authorities. But if she shared it with someone like us or Sayori, that would definitely be her ass behind bars. So I guess she's sort of it's been sort of eating her away on the inside. Like in a sense, just that's a hell of a question. Oh nice. I mean, but it, it is a question. Like she is she hasn't seen her in a month. So, and I mean, she especially, the MC doesn't know it, but we know that she feels guilty probably because she did it. 
Not one. There's a simple answer too. Not one that does the situation justice anyway. So much happened to her that night. Have we really not put any thought into who did this? As soon as she regained consciousness, she'd been immediately confronted with the news of her father's death. I mean, it sucks, but uh, she was just numb. She barely even reacted to grimace and that silence. The police questioned her about the night of the attack. She couldn't remember anything after leaving the house. Between the emotional trauma and the repeated blows to the head, it barely even comes as a surprise. So she didn't, that guaranteed, she didn't make it to her father's house, so that he didn't do it. I mean, her father, I kind of feel bad for him in a way. He kind of drew the short end of the stick. But granted, it was kind of inevitable due to, like, you know, how he treated her. But he did at least go out doing the right thing. The investigation, however, remains at standstill. Alright, so this is the important part. The part that, like, actually, like, we should be focusing on. As for her injuries, so we don't really know who caused it. Or at least we don't have any, sus at the very least, we don't have any suspicions. But... She's been in a lot of pain, but she's hardly complained at all. I think she's been more pissed about being stuck in the hospital, to be honest. And the pause that was put on our relationship. Dude, that's like the least of your worries right now. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, please, for one moment. Not that we haven't been doing our best to keep things going. When she was relatively mobile, I was able to take her for dates in the hospital grounds. After school with cafeteria food picnics. It was nice to spend those moments together, but it was no substitute for genuine quality time. No opportunity for any kind of solitude or intimacy. I think we both missed it. Try to summarize things as best I can for you. So, she's had a rough time, but she's getting there. Think she'll be glad to be home. That's what matters. Yuri. Hmm? Yeah, she's like out of it at this point. Because she, she definitely did. There's no question about that. But it definitely was her alter ego. Like, really doing it. Like, we saw her. I'm sorry. What do you mean? You were right. I should have listened to you. And I ended up getting her, letting her get hurt because I didn't. Alright, so now this is kind of like Monica's situation. Where, you know... Because we don't know Monica's lived past... Well, first off, we don't know that this is game. And second off, that Monica's lived past iterations. And that she was the ultimate cause for Sayori's death in the other, like, iterations of the game. And now it's the same similar situation here. Because whenever we say, like, Sayori deserves someone like you. Or Sayori... Like, Sayori is lucky to have someone like you. Because that ends up just hurting Monica. Because she knows... What she did in the other iterations of the game. And she feels guilty. Same thing with Sayori. Like we're saying this. But I mean we don't know. But she does know that she was the one who caused this. And she can't tell anyone. Or else like even more so than her father. It's kind of like just she can't like get out. And doing this is sort of like breaking her in a way. But I mean Raven. Please don't blame yourself like that. She is holding together fairly well though. Her composure. You couldn't have possibly seen this coming. But you did. Your hormones were raging. <laughs> you didn't want to see anything that was a barrier to your plan to be together. That's true. You have to put your pride aside. And look at things that... And basically make the objectively... The objective best decision. As opposed to, you know, the selfish decision. Like what he did. And ended up causing her to be hurt. Because let's say he did end up call the cops on her father immediately. Her father would be arrested. And... None of this would have happened. Like, we would be living free with Natsuki. Yuri, when she could have possibly tried something else, but it wouldn't have been, you know, everything that it has been. And even if, I guess, I don't know. Don't know. It's perfectly natural in a new relationship. So please, don't punish yourself for that. Hormones. No. What, what we have is more than just some animal attraction. Are you really going to go off on Yuri now? But I guess... With Yuri, it makes sense, because she's still trying to put our relationship down in a way, because she ultimately wants to end up with us. She's kind of like Monica, in a sense, for this mod, where she has sort of like her alter ego, which is coming from, I guess, the portrait of Monkov, and telling her what or what not to do, I guess, in some sort of way. But I mean, yeah, Yuri, when are you going to accept that this is more than just a temporary thing? It's interesting. Because, I mean, she doesn't want to. And, I mean, but that's still partially because the MC, we never ended up validating her feelings for us. Like, that's why she is unable to accept it. Because we haven't, like, basically told her, you know, it's okay to feel the way you are about us. That's only natural. And, like, but instead we're just being spiteful and just, like, prideful and being like, no, you're just a friend to us. So I have to go. Oh, of course. She must be waiting for you. Don't let me keep you. Yeah. See you tomorrow. I should be in the club. See you then. Turning my heel, I march purposely to the door, eager to not have anyone else, anything else come between me and Natsuki. That's the problem. He's so fixated on Natsuki. Shit like this happens. What the hell is going on? Oh, so this is... 
All right, I was like, what the fuck's going on? Please tell me the mod ends there. But, all right, so after this, I'll stop the video. But this is, again, third-person interaction with Yuri. We've had, like, plenty of these. So I guess Monica must not know or must have no idea that it's Yuri. Because otherwise, shit would have happened in between the month, between the attack and now, with her and Yuri, I guess. But I don't know. Like, none of these mods can get Monica right. It's, it's, it's quite a shame. Because, like, none of them really do her justice. Like, that's, that's the problem. Exit Music, I think, did her right, but I mean, why? Why do things have to turn out like this? So that's basically a confession from her. I just want her out of the way. She wasn't supposed to. You went too far. Is this her talking to herself or, like, her alter ego? Because, like, I mean, whenever she goes like this, we assume she's in her obsessive state, really. So she's... Me and Asuka, that's what's down what I expected. But what I'm questioning now is, who is she talking to? Because I always thought she was talking to, like, the portrait of Markov or whatnot. Basically, I guess, or talking to, like, it as if it was some sort of entity. But, I mean, it seems like now she's not talking about her, like, alter ego or, like, something else. She's talking about it like it was a physical person, like, who did this or something. It can't be Monica. That doesn't make sense. Like, I don't... I, I didn't think she was talking to Monica, but, I mean, like, I... I guess that would explain, you know, why she hasn't really questioned Yuri or whatnot. I guess that would explain, you know, I guess, you know, why she's so, like, apprehensive towards Natsuki and Yuri. And basically, like, why... She, I guess it is... Seeing that interaction, it is much more plausible now that, you know, Monica could have gone AWOL. She is behind all this. It is a lot more plausible. I mean, I guess... I still don't think it is, though. I still think Yuri's sort of, like, talking to her alter ego in this sense. You know, that, like, I guess... I really don't want to believe it's Monica behind everything. But, I mean, that would explain why she's, like, like sort of not... How she meant... How she saved Sayori. But now why she's purposefully not, like, paying any attention to Natsuki and Yuri's problems. Because she's using Yuri in order to take out Natsuki. I mean, she definitely has... Because, like, it wouldn't make sense because her focus is Sayori. Or at least now. But, I mean, if she is starting to revert, she could, I guess, care more about us now, in a sense. And we haven't seen her in a while. So, I guess the next interaction I'm looking forward to between, like, just us and Monica. I guess, I don't know. There were no excitement in the air. No relief. She just let me at, at the gates with a few belongings she'd taken with her. She barely said a word. Just yesterday, she seemed possibly ecstatic to be leaving. What's eating her? She sits next to me in the taxi and sounds, staring at the floor the entire time. The ride seems to take forever, but eventually you reach my house. Our house. That's what it's supposed to be. Are we going to see her? Alright. So, she is fully healed, I guess. Congrats. She surveys her surroundings wordlessly. It's easy to tell she's trying not to show any emotion right now, but her body betrays her. She's taking. Her eyes come to rest on the couch. The one where she nearly lost her life. The one where her father and I shared a beer. And what we now know were his final words. She can't take it anymore. The tears finally come. All right, yeah. Let's just... It's only been like a couple of lines. But yeah, I'm going to end this. I mean... This mod's progressing fairly well. Because before I was questioning, you know, why her father did what he did when she like hit puberty or whatnot. But now it makes more sense is given what he said and like the background we've gotten on what happened to his wife. Everything's starting to make sense. But what's like... Even if something in the present doesn't make sense, like, if it doesn't make sense now, the game resolves it. I mean, what doesn't make sense now is, you know, why Monica... Because, like, she really would have been the one to, like, suspect Yuri and basically confront her about this. If her priority really is the game, like, continuing on, why has she been so, like, apprehensive towards, like, Yuri and Nazi's problems? And why has she not, I guess, confronted... Yuri, because that definitely would seem like a Yuri thing. Monica would definitely see through that. We know she's a smart person, and she would at least suspect that Yuri did it. And we know she can at least actually hold her own against Yuri in a fight, but... And that would also explain, you know, why Yuri was talking to someone else. Because at first I thought she was talking to sort of like the book. Like, kind of like... I don't even know, but sort of like as if it was an NC. But now it made it seem like she was talking to someone else. But I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm gonna end it here. There's nothing else to say. I'm really excited to where this mod's going, and I'm really glad I downloaded the update, because now this mod actually seems like it's gonna finish. So, I guess, yep, that's it for today. Tomorrow it is then.